American Brock collecting currency abroad. Today, Dwight D. Eisenhower, the former U.S. World War II general, I believe he was in the European theater, and president of the United States is joining us. This is a 1971 copper clad $1 commemorative coin. And you can see on the side here that's copper clad. You have a nickel clad, uh, which is on the front here, and then also on the back. And then in the middle there, there's a copper ring, basically. Coins from 1964 and going back were made out of silver at the 50 cent, $1 level. In 1963, Kennedy was president, was assassinated, and then in 64, they did one more year of a commemorative with him on the 50 cent piece. This is a $1 coin, you can see on the back right there. Uh, but the 50 cent piece was reduced to 40% after Kennedy's death starting in 1965, going up to, I believe, 1970 or 1971. This is a 71, $1 commemorative, like I said. The back has a great motive. Ego landing on the surface face of the moon here with all the indentations from the comets and other debris hitting the moon. There's Earth, the world in the background, featuring North America, stars going around the eagle, which is a normal motive on US coins, but I like it really especially here because the stars are out in space. If you're standing, pretend you're standing on the moon, from that perspective, you see all the stars there. And uh, this coin was given to me by my father. I had about 10 or 15 of them. I actually used most of them as tip money to get other people into coin collecting when I was in the US, when I went and stayed at hotels, or when I did tip money at a restaurant or other places, I actually would put these on the table. You, I never waited around to see if people got accepted, uh, or got accepted, got excited by, uh, for receiving them. Um, some people think they're actually made of silver, they're worth a lot of money. They're worth about probably two or three dollars uh, if you're selling them for the actual like collector value. But I had so many of them, they're so heavy, and I thought, oh, it's a buck, and why not try to get someone else also interested in coin collecting? So that's why I kind of uh, used them uh, during my trip. So I just thought I'd show you guys this coin, give you a little bit of an explanation why I have it in my collection. My dad gave these to me. But yeah, I probably thought they are going to be worth something, but this was when the U.S. was a great country with a lot of ingenuity. We were conquering the moon, con trying, thinking about other planets, thinking about space, and now we've kind of fallen off uh, the map and we're not really doing too much on that front. Maybe talking about going to Mars, but we really need a uh, strong space program if we want to... Uh, outlive uh, well, all the disasters that are going to be coming through the overpopulation of this earth and uh, you can already see some of those things happening with the climate change and other problems. Uh, just keep that in mind guys. So this was a cool time period, a cool uh, period in history. Thanks for watching guys. Signing off.